Good morning and welcome to another Disney vlog. It's another one. It's Friday the 4th of February. It's our last full day mm. in the parks. Full day, full night. Yeah. we still got tomorrow. We still have tomorrow. Um, and it's an eating day. <laughs> Food day. Uh, we're going over to Epcot. Standard. There's a few dishes we didn't get to try the other day as part of Festival of the Arts, so we're going to try and do those. Yeah. And then we'll do a couple of rides. We've got a lightning lane for Test Track. At five past ten. Which we've not done Test Track yet, um, because the queues have been, have been ridiculous for it. Yeah. Um, and then the plan later is to head over to Magic Kingdom. There's still quite a bit we want to do there. Yeah. And there's a few things we want to eat there. Yeah. Again, the theme of this vlog series is food. All you can eat. I love food. Love the food. So yeah, we need to get cracking. Let's uh, get over to Epcot. We made it to Epcot and the test track queue. We have got Lightning Lane, but because the park's not open to non-resort guests, we thought um, we'd give it to go in standby. Joe's idea. If we're ages, I'm blaming him. If we're not, it's a pat on the back. We'll wait and see. So there's my car. I got 78 power, 60, 32, 29. Joe, wow, 93. But efficiency is 20. Yeah, it's cool. Ninety three on power. We know who's gonna win that one. Yeah, that's cool. That's a beast. Yeah, ninety three. Yeah. All right. More queuing, but it's okay. We've been. I'm counting my steps. We've been yeah ten minutes. So let's see how long this queue goes. Cesarac. We're at the front. Yeah. We're at the front of the car. Oh, it's good. This yeah. is going to wake us up. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, you've got to scan your thing. Yeah. Right, we're in. Here we go. Seatbelt check. This is the point where we did this before and we broke down right here. Here we go. I came last on that one. Capability. test track in the standby we still have our lightning lane for it so we're going to use that now <laughs> we're going to do it back to back at least in that way it will free us up to book another lightning lane which we don't think we're going to book another one here in Epcot we think we're going to try for later in the day at Magic Kingdom so let's uh, do test track again Joe's looking at the cars Looking at the cars that he'll never be able to afford. 
Is this the one you want? The tire is as big as me. So, last test track done twice. It's now time to eat. I'm and hungry. Our, our first stop is going to be at the donut box. There's a vanilla donut that is part of the kind of the walk around trail where you collect the stamps. So, we get this, we get another stamp, and then we'll soon get a freebie. It's the donut yeah. box. That's it there. A little white. Which one? See, the, with the white with the red. Yeah. So, this is the vanilla donut at the donut box. Look at that. Fresh strawberries, some jam, it's like a ice cream sorbet, and a vanilla donut. Joe's just got me a spoon because I didn't pick one up. And then Joe's bad boy is a chocolate dipped something. Just chocolate dipped donut. Looks good. All right, we're going to tuck in and then we'll tell you what we think. All right, there, Joe. I'm good. What happened to your donut? The chocolate fell out. Wow. Sugar. Mine's quite nice, but I feel like it could be two separate dishes because the donut is just the donut, an ice donut, ice ring donut, and then you've got like the sorbet and the strawberries with like some breadcrumbs, which I think could have been made into its own dish. But it's not nice, but yeah, I think they could have separated it out. So from the donut box to Club Cool, we haven't done Club Cool yet. Yeah. Fancy some Beverly? Oh, let's give it a go. Oh, it's like a waterproof. Yeah. It's cool though, isn't it? Yeah. Would you wear that though? Oh. Maybe at like a festival, maybe. You get topless. How much is that? Sixty dollars for a bit of plastic. <laughs> you can get cheaper bin bags. Right, let's go give uh, a cool go. The watermelon, the royal watermelon from the Philippines. I'll try it and see. Yes. What do you think? You've gone for a nice one first. Right. I'm going to start with Beverly, just because I'm going to work my way along. So I'm only going to do a little bit of Beverly. There's no point putting loads in because I know I'm not going to like it. Oh, it's just, it, yeah. See, initially it tastes all right. It is that, it's the aftertaste, it reminds me of Should I do it? paracetamol. I've got to try some of this. No. Yeah, initially you get a sweet taste Green. and then it's um, <laughs> a bit of Beverly. It's the aftertaste. It is the aftertaste. Okay, Madagascar. Here we go. That one's quite nice, you'll like that one. Try the Madagascar. Do you like the Madagascar? It's quite sweet. Right, Dominican Republic. This is the country club. Again, tropical fruit. Let's try it and see. Smells interesting. Oh, that tastes like club soda. That's what that reminds me of. This. Yeah. You know that you used to get lemonade? That's what it looks like. Yeah. You used to get like lemonade with like ice cream in. Cream soda. Cream soda. That's yes, what I mean. Yeah. Soda. That one's quite That's nice. It's a little bit similar to, um, what's it called? A butter beer. Yes. It's like a butter beer taste. I like that one. Gonna get a new cup. So the next is oh the apple lychee. I've heard good things about this one. Okay, 
so yeah, looks okay. How was that? Nice. Try it and see. I was expecting a fizz, but no, I didn't like that. No, I don't. Um, it's not awful, but it's a little bit like an apple juice. It's a bit syrupy. Right, you've tried this um, <coughs> watermelon, haven't you? This smells nice. So this is the <coughs> royal watermelon from it the Philippines. Me of, like, melon frosty. Melon frosty. Let's it's try this one. Oh, oh no. Just have a chat. No. No, it's quite sour. Yeah, sour watermelon, that one. Right. This is the new Beverly. This is from China, and apparently it's meant to taste like barbecue. Okay. What does it taste? It looks like Coke. It smells like barbecue sauce. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that smells like barbecue sauce. Yeah, it's a bit. It is a bit barbecue. Okay, let's give it a go. The aftertaste is a bit barbecue. Yeah, that sounds. Just tastes like barbecue sauce. It's sweet it's like barbecue sweet sauce. Barbecue sauce mixed with cake. It's not awful, but I couldn't drink a lot of it. I could drink. Right. I've tried this one already. This one is the Sprite from Russia, I'm guessing. It's it, like cucumber flavoured lemonade. Basically. Cucumber flavoured lemonade. Doesn't smell of anything. It's nice. It's not too bad actually. You can one. get the um you do get the taste of cucumber. And then the last one. What's this one? This Viva one raspberry. is from Moldova. Viva raspberry. Similar sort of colour to the watermelon. watermelon. But is it a similar sort of taste? We'll soon find out. It's raspberry. Raspberry. It smells it's raspberry. It smells like raspberry. Aid. Give it a go. It's okay. You can remember like the old panda pops? Am yes. I showing my age? I used to get like the real kind of cheap panda pops and there was like a raspberry flavour. It tastes like that. Okay. I can't remember which one I liked. So my favourite was, nice was the Madagascar. Hold on, let me get a fresh cut. This one was my favourite. Joe's gonna press it. There we go. Nice full cut. This one was my favourite. The Bon Bon Anglais from Madagascar. Yeah. Yeah, definitely my favourite. The um, barbecue one wasn't as awful as I was expecting. No, it's, like, it's okay barbecue. But you just couldn't drink a lot of it. Yeah. That's how I, like, a couple of sips is good. Beverly is Beverly. It's that aftertaste. It just reminds me of, like, paracetamol. If you, like, crunch a paracetamol, that's what it reminds me of. But the Madagascar, top tip from me. Joseph, I think you like the watermelon as well, don't you? I didn't mind the watermelon, but I think the watermelon was the first one I had. So it, because I hadn't already had sweet stuff, it, it tasted, then tasted quite sweet, but then I carried on drinking the other ones and then went back to the watermelon and it did taste a little bit more sour. And, yeah. So, yeah, but this is the... Madagascar. The Madagascar, yeah. Cheers. So we're just in the creation store, having a little browse. Although, saying that, oh, I thought I lost Joe, but I found him. He's looking at the pen. He really wants these pens. I think he should get them. Sporky. Is it a pen? Yeah, I think so. 
I show you one of the most expensive things in the creation store come with so this is a Mickey ears hat $1,000 and it's a $1,000 Walt Disney World 50th anniversary Lux logo yes. jeweled ear hat what are they? are they fake? are they real? comes with a black dust bag and a decorative 50th memory box it comes with that box is it? wow thousand dollars maybe if you won the lottery so now we're making our way around to pop eats and enjoy some grilled cheese okay, here's some of the artwork on the walls of Epcot and this has been done by different people within um who work for Disney basically cool. that's cool 50 years of family. Huh. Mickey holding up a 50th cake. Donald with his maracas. Oh, that is cool. There's Figment. Yeah, that's cool. That's like, yeah, the trait that I got from Coke Store. It's that, I can't think what it's called. It's that type of dot art, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, let's uh, head round to Pop Eats. So, the Pop Eats, the dishes that we definitely want to try is the grilled cheese. There's two versions, there's just plain grilled cheese, and then there's a grilled cheese with brie and apple, um, and both come with a cool little Pop Arts tin of soup. So, yeah, feeling peckish, so I think this will go down well. So this is the grilled cheese with the tomato soup. Tomato. tomato soup um, we swapped one over so basically you get there's two versions there's just a traditional grilled cheese and then there's a cheese grilled cheese with brie and bacon and apple and then my grilled cheese with cheese has no cheese that's cheese there it's yeah. just stuck on that side oh. <laughs> turn it around the other way the front there you go you can see all the grilled cheese there yeah. all right let's tuck in fair to say I like the tomato soup. I love tomato soup, but I like tomato soup though. Yeah, it is, and he finished off mine. Um, that was nice. The grilled cheese with the brie, bacon, and apple was okay, but I would have enjoyed it more about the brie. I'm not a massive fan of brie. I'll tell you what's cute though. It's the little tins. But like, it's not a real tin. No, it's plastic. plastic. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. No, try it. I, I, I did enjoy it. It was nice. Right, on to the next one. An artist whose combination of skilled performance and energetic studio work has made him a household name among Disney art collectors. A fusion of Americana and Warhol era pop art, his work has been exhibited across the globe. Please welcome to the stage, Disney fine art artist, Trevor Carlton. Thanks so much. All right, let's get this thing going. Got something fun for you right now. Baby girl, se acabó. Tú no tienes que dejar a él por mí. Y baby ya, no lo compliques. Quiero disfrutarte una vez más aquí.
en las montañas cuando me bañas en el espíritu de tus labios dulce de mi caña tierra de mi vida fumo muchos sueños para que no te olvides nadando en tus aguas y tu alma decides mojadita en mis manos para que me pides by Trevor Carlton. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful rest of your day here at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. So that was a little paint by numbers for you. Pretty cool how he did it. I don't think I could paint a Mickey that quick even if I knew what colors went where. Um, the temperature is going up. And watching that painting, that definitely made us hot. <laughs> you enjoying the aircon there, Jeff? Yeah. <laughs> it is hot. A little bit of cocoa. This is cool. Yeah, this is... um perfect spot to cool down in the Epcot heat. I do like the Mexican pavilion. It's like midday but yet you come inside and it's like... Although we weren't fans of the San Angel Inn. <laughs> no. Hi there. Fountain. Not as good as the fountain in France. Imagine we're in that now. <laughs> oh, how much is it? Thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Jeez. Oh. That's the Sun Angel Inn. stays in your head like it's a small world does. Fireworks. Always together. Always together. <laughs> oh, so cool. Oh, look who it is. It's Minnie. <laughs> Yeah, it's the first time we've seen her this trip. Yeah, well, apart from on the cavalcade. Hey. Hi, Minnie. You okay? Enjoying the heat? Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's so warm. Yeah. <laughs> Take a dip. <laughs> you look amazing. Swim. You look good. <laughs> you too. Bye. That was cool. Bumping into Minnie. Haven't seen many characters this trip. But. No. I think because they're not really out and about, you miss them. Um, and they're not doing the cavalcades here in Epcot like they were before. Oh, this is the artwork that we were watching being painted. That's amazing. Yeah. So that's what we watched. That is cool. Okay, so we headed over to the deconstruction, well, deconstructed dish booth, and this is the key lime pie deconstructed, and this is the apple pie a la mode, which is a beverage, not an actual apple pie. Joe's gonna try his. Now, I like key lime pie, but yeah, it's nice. is it nice? It looks good. 
it's clever how they've done it. So it's completely broken apart. So you've got like your base, the lemon curd, the lime, and then you've got your raspberries with your meringue. And then I'll come on to this in a minute, but it's basically apple cider with like a, a apple sauce lump <laughs> in the middle with like a, a kind of a, like almost like a bread um base at the bottom. But let's give this a go. <clears throat> Clear plate, always a good sign. Oh, it's nice. Not my favourite dessert. The cherry and pistachio um, dessert is my favourite so far. Like still the passion fruit. Passion fruit. But now it's time to try this. So the deconstructed apple pie a la mode. If I can actually grip it. Yeah. But I've had something that's quite sweet. It comes in a cool little cup though. Yeah. Let's try it. So here we go. Bottoms up. Just tastes like apple juice. You need to spoon out some of the. I'll show you what's inside it. So yeah, so inside you have the apple cider and then you have like a lump of like apple sauce. And then at the bottom you have like this, which you would think is like some kind of bread crumb pastry being that it's an apple pie. But let's try it and see. Okay, no, it's not broken. It's like a um, cinnamon ice cream. It's quite nice. Okay, so what I want to do now is mix it up with the, the ice cream at the bottom and just see if that gives it any difference of a flavour. I mean, colour-wise, it's changing. Let's uh, give it a good old mix. Okay, so it's now well and truly mixed. So I'm going to try this now. Okay, so it's all mixed. Let's um, give this a go. That is much better. Tastes just like an apple pie. So we've completed the wonderful world. Wonderful world? Yeah, wonderful. the wonderful walk of wonderful. colourful cuisine where you have to get five dishes, five stamps, and then you get a free dish, um, or dishes, as we've just found out. So, not only do you get a little cookie, look at that, you also get this little smoothie. A which wild is berry smoothie. Wild berry smoothie, in a little kind of souvenir cup. Yeah. That's quite cool, and that's free, just from doing the five dishes. Yeah, it's cute. Give it a go, Joe. Does it taste nice? I don't know. That's the question. Is it nice? Yeah. Nice and refreshing? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Yeah. This is it here. Yeah. It's cool. Show you the front there. Yeah. So, let's give it a taste. Mm. That is nice. Quite refreshing. However, we have just eaten loads of sweet stuff. So I'm a little bit sweeted out. <laughs> Joe's opening up the cookie. The cookie. How's the cookie? Expression section. We've got our paint. We're going to go and paint the wall. Thank you. Um, so we've got two colours. Eight squares each that we get to, to, to paint. What colours have we got, Joe? Uh, we've got purple and like gold. Oh, like a purple and a gold, or maybe we were painting figment. Who knows? This is what we do. Come on then, Joe. Eight number ones. You're painting part of figment, aren't you? It looks like This should be good, Joe, because you are a trained painter and decorator. Oh, look at the precision. Okay, so Ryan is doing some tens. I got tens. Go for it. Got the orange. There's a lot of tens here. A lot of tens. Oh, these are tens. I'm gonna be creative. Tens. Oh god, here he goes. This is where I get it on me. 
please don't get old new. New bunch. Bye. Especially because I gave you that shirt. <laughs> You're just gonna like dip in and get everybody else's. Yeah. That's one. So Ryan's on his last one. Ten years old. Ten years old. Uh, ten year, number ten. Number ten. There we go. All done. So we've just done the paint by numbers, and this is what it's going to end up like. It's different. The one before was figment. It's cool though. Everything and look at that, the 50th monorail, monorail gold, monorail. So that's our day so far at Pot Done. Pretty much been food and test track. Test track. Um, but we're going to be heading back to the hotel, freshen up because it is extremely hot today. Very, very, uh, very sweaty. Um, and then we are going to be heading over from to Magic Kingdom for our last night at Disney. Yeah. And you can see behind us is the ball. Look at that. 